Good. Did you do this one? Did. Did you? Did. Awesome. Because you know what? Even though I didn't give you guys an example, I provided you with everything you guys needed to do for this, right? I, I didn't provide an example with this, which I will now, but everything that I taught you guys could apply um, to solving this problem. So the first thing we look at, we have here's our divisor. So remember, we always set our divisor equal to 0. It doesn't matter what it is. You just set your divisor equal to 0. As long as it's a binomial, you're OK. So I add 3 to the other side. I get 2x equals 3, divide by 2, and x equals 3 halves. So yes, now I'm going to be dealing with fractions. But I have 3 halves on the outside. Then I go through with my coefficients. Was that, is that correct? 4x squared or is it 4x cubed? 4x squared. 4x squared. So you do 4, negative 2, and 6. So the first one. There's no difference, guys. I, I explained how to do all this. Right? So now the first thing is we bring down the first one. It's our freebie, 4. So you just bring it down. Now, 4 times 3 halves. So if you guys remember, multiplying fractions. This isn't as bad as you guys want to make it. 4 times 3, you just multiply across. 12 divided by 2, which equals 6. Right? You guys can multiply that. 4 times 3 halves. 4 times 3 halves is going to give you 6. Negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. 4 times 3 halves, again, we're getting our same answer. 4 times 3 halves, again, it's just going to give us um, 6. And then our final answer is going to be 12. It wasn't minus 6, it was plus 6 at the end? OK. So therefore, in this case, we have a remainder, we have a constant, and we have a linear term. So therefore, 2x minus 3 does not evenly divide into 4x squared minus 2x. Yes? Oh. Wait, that's 9, isn't it? Where? Isn't 3 divided by 2 times 6 over 1? And that gives you 8 divided by 2. It's 4 times 3, it's 12, oh. Oh. divided by 2 equals 6. So when looking back over at it, um, so now to write our answer, we know that since we have a remainder, it's not going to evenly divide into there. Um, so what we're going to have is our final solution our re is going to be 4x plus 4 plus you take your remainder and divide it by your divisor. So that would be your final solution. Okay. Now. I'm going to have a little litmus test.